Hi, this is Teacher Wang. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In our today's video, our topic is proportion. If you want to learn this, keep on watching. Before we proceed with our lesson, let us read the definition of proportion. Proportion is a statement that two ratios are equal. So let us take a look at this example. So I have here two groups of objects. In A, we have two hearts and three stars. In B, we have four hearts and six stars. Let us answer these questions. What is the ratio of the hearts to the stars in A? So since we have two hearts and three stars, the ratio of hearts to star in A is 2 is to 3. For question number 2, what is the ratio of hearts to the stars in B? So since here we have four hearts and six stars, the ratio of hearts to stars in B is 4 is to 6. So now for question number 3, are two ratios equal? Yes, because like fraction, ratio can be reduced. For example, 4 is to 6. If we reduce 4 is to 6, this is equivalent to 2 is to 3. Therefore, the ratio of hearts to the star in A is equivalent to the ratio of the hearts to the stars in B. It only means that the two ratios are proportional. Now, without reducing the other ratio, how are we going to determine whether two ratios are proportional? All we need to do is to apply the fundamental law of proportion. If the product of the means is equal to the product of the extremes, then proportion is true. Let us take a look at this example. Determine whether 3 is to 5 equals 15 is to 25 is true proportion or not. So let us apply the fundamental law of proportion. So here all we need to do is to find the product of the extremes and the product of the means. So means are 5 and 15. The two numbers beside the equal sign. So, these are the means. The extremes, on the other hand, are 3 and 25. Okay, so now what is the product of the means? So, 5 times 15, this is equal to, yes, that is equal to 75. How about the product of 3 and 25? 3 times 25 is 75. Since the product of the extremes is equal to the product of the means, then 3 is to 5 equals 15 is to 25 is a true proportion. What if one term in the proportion is missing? Say we have 8 is to 32 equals n is to 20. In this example, we're going to find the value of n. Now, all we need to do to find the value of n, we just need to apply the fundamental law of proportion. So we're going to find the product of the means, which is 32 and n. So 32 times n, we have 32 n. So next we have 8 and 20. So we're going to find the product of 8 and 20. So 8 times 20, we have 160. Now let's solve it using the property of equality. So in order to solve for n, all we need to do is to multiply both sides by 1 over 32. 1 over 32 times 32n, we have n. And 160 times 1 over 32, we have 5. 
Therefore, the missing number is 5. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoy our today's lesson. Don't forget to subscribe on my channel and click thumbs up if you like our today's discussion. See you in my next video. Bye!